hey, did you guys uh, enjoy your temporary gifts from Amazon? I know I did. I thought it was a lovely idea. I mean, think about this. We get an email in game reminding us that on Wednesday, there's going to be a maintenance which are going to remove the tripods from our gear just to make sure that everyone is in the clear to fix their mistakes in the past for not communicating properly. And attached to this email is sort of a random pack of cards which you're most likely going to get green from but it doesn't matter there's 10 feons which in preparation for the upcoming reaper release summoner release in december man that's such a medium w right there but most importantly at least from my point of view the person who thought to include four battle item chests in this email is just like huge brain guy simply because at least on eu central in all honesty we're running out of consumables most evenings there's none on the auction house i'm talking about stimulants dark grenades and if they are they're like 400 gold nobody's crafting and eu central is like one of the biggest regions um in the western version of lost ark so i thought man this is just genius right um no that's that's not the case it was apparently a mistake from amazon games to send us these rewards attached to this email in today's video i want to express my frustration once again, um, with, with not knowing what we're doing to the game in, in the West. Now, I've been asked this a lot in the past few hours because they had to take the servers down for a couple of hours initially in order to deduct these rewards from players to fix this particular mistake they made a few hours ago. Now, Funnily enough, they had to extend the unscheduled maintenance to fix their fuck up by another hour on top of the two hours that were initially planned, which just further added so much joy to the forums that I cannot even tell you. And you can imagine the shit show that came after this. Like uh, now we're talking about uh, why don't they ban the bots, right? And why don't they take the servers down until the uh, RMT players are banned and their goal deducted? Why don't they fix the random disconnect issues that have been happening since last Wednesday, by the way? And it actually really, really ruins some pieces of content when one or more players just randomly disconnect. Why don't they do emergency maintenances for those things and they do them for these things? I don't necessarily like to um, talk shit about, you know, the place where I'm living and currently I'm addicted to Lost Ark and I'm really enjoying the game as it is and I have been for the past four years. Six months ago, I created a video where I talked towards the end of that video about some problems that I had noticed even before release. These things have been happening since before release. And in my mind, I always thought that maybe we're new, maybe we're still learning the ropes, you know, publishing a game from overseas, communication in between US, Korea, I know Amazon, Smilegate, maybe they have, you know, they're still new at releasing the game in this particular form. So feedback and changes are bound to happen. That's perfectly fine. All good. Uh, however, we, we really need to solve the, you know, a very simple problem, which is communication and knowledge, knowing what we're going to do and why. Not these changes, these upside downs, these, these things just add more more fuel to an already existing fire for absolutely no reason and you know slowly by slowly they, they they they're even getting to my head a little bit i would appreciate them to know and talk to each other before throwing these kinds of things in the eyes of in the hands of the community then having to take them back feons in lost ark in general are a very sensitive topic like one of the most sensitive topics in the game is the Feon income. It's more important than the pay to win, the real money conversion. It's like Feons in blue crystals prices. This, these are like the, the, the top highest. Con and you do this right now, you, you give free Feons and then you want to take them back. This is just insane. In the grand scheme of things, I need to tell you that this doesn't really matter that much. We received 10 Feons times 10 characters, 12 characters, 150 feons. Some people got 200 feons because they have 20 characters. 200 feons in the grand scheme of things when you have 20 characters, because that's why you receive 200, 10 per, 
it's not that much, right? Because you can buy like what, eight, eight accessories. Another thing that proves my six month ago point from that video is the fact that as we were saying thank you to them for these rewards, they were replying to people. You're welcome, um, all good, I hope you enjoy, uh, right, these rewards. So their Twitter department didn't even know what's happening or the fact that these were given by mistake. The best solution out of all the bad options that they have right now to sort of at least try and, 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 and fix this is to leave one time this reward per roster and then remove all the other rewards that were claimed. I know it's hard to believe, but not everyone in Lost Ark plays more than one character. Most people do, but not everyone. So leaving just one of these and telling the players that, hey, you know, we just didn't want this to be a spammed sort of set of rewards on all of your 20 characters or 12 characters, even though that would have been cool and not such a big deal either. Uh, but just saying, we just wanted one character per roster to receive this reward and thus the maintenance and thus the removal of this thing. And that was everything from me on this topic. Um, I just wanted to answer all of these questions that you had for me in private, all in bulk here on my YouTube video and also publicly, uh, because I'm in the same boat as you guys are. We're playing the same game and I've been on the boat of please do better um, since the very first day of release. Uh, pretty low on, on, on copium uh, on my side that uh, these kinds of mistakes or critical errors or long delayed patches or you know problems afterwards are ever going to be fixed however um it the game itself at least for me is still a very enjoyable experience and um, yeah i guess i'm gonna get into that experience uh, right away after the servers come back online until my next video or my next twitch live stream i wish you guys lots of love stay safe and see you really soon Bye bye